Okay, I have to be honest. You have great style. Yeah, I was walking past and I was like, I have to be, come be honest with this girl because if nobody's honest, then I'll be honest. Thanks. I'm Anthony. Aniko. Aniko? Yes. Is she French? Yes. Uh huh. She's a and uh, these are uh, her uh, love letters. <laughs> it's very nice. To this guy? Yeah. On the front? Yeah. Ah, that's so great. He looks like a nerd though. So funny. Yeah, he's a, a writer, I think. What's your favorite love letter so far that you've uh, read? I've only read so oh, okay. I don't know, they are just getting to know each other. So it, it's the beginning of the relationship. So where are you from? Chicago. Oh, really? Yeah. And this is where I live now? And uh, since when? Since 2015, so since last year. Uh, my friend was here and he said, you know, this place is like this, the girls are like this, and this and this. And I came here and it was exactly what he said it was. It was even better too. Oh, so he said it's a great place. Yeah. Is the sun in your eyes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll just sit here, okay? And, uh, do you uh, study or work? Yes, I work. I uh, am a life coach for men. Oh. Uh, I help them to understand themselves and understand life, um, understand women sometimes. <laughs> so, you're like a psychologist? Or? Uh, no, but it deals with psychology work. Yeah, so, it's, I, if I have to say it, it's like social. Uh, social psychology. It's like sociology and psychology together in a way. So you go to like the workplace of people and have them there or how, how, how is this? I don't really know. Oh well we, we run like workshops where guys come and they come for either seven days, four days or ten days and we help them with various things. That's interesting. Yeah. Do you do something interesting? Uh, I study. <laughs> I study English in the university here. Mm -hmm. So that's all. I uh, I teach uh, high school kids. So that's the only uh, job I do right now because uh, while I study, I don't really have time a real job but I will do something I don't want to be a teacher what do you want to be? you don't want to be a teacher? I don't know yet would you say, would you say you're a bit shy? Um, maybe or quiet, is either shy or quiet? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, well, I'm a bit introvert. Mm. That's the word in English. Yeah, introvert, yeah. Introvert, yeah. <laughs> but I'm not sure really so shy. It's just. I don't know. You just. Uh, you like spending time alone. Oh no. It's just that uh, when you can pay when you pay attention to someone. Hmm? I said when you pay attention to someone. Um, when you put all your when you pay attention yeah. like uh, like focus on someone, 
uh, you can start to see things like that. Like, are they quiet or this? Like, for me, you could do the same thing. You could be like, well, are you somebody that's really relaxed? Are you somebody this? And it could go both ways. It's just that I wanted to know because you seem like, how do I say it? Uh, like, open. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, uh, distant. Is this strange for you? No, not. Mm -hmm. it's not. I just, uh, I don't know. I don't really like uh, sharing things with, you know, just people. I don't know. Oh, yes. Well, how do you, how do you get to know people? But I don't know. I make friends with the friends of my friends. Oh, no. You know. There's so many people in the world. I know, but it's so easy because I know that, you know, I have a, so I know a lot of people and, and uh, the friends of them and like maybe go to party or something like that and it's so easy because there are, you know, lots of people around them and it's like I know them, but I don't, but if my friends know them, it's, I don't know, it's easier. Yeah, I um, I can see how it's easier because you you don't have to like uh, think about okay, what is this person like? Is this person crazy? Like, yeah, yeah, you yeah. could you feel more safe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you do this a lot. I mean, just come to other people in the street and talk. About um, I mean, if I definitely want to, I will. I don't shy away from it. I definitely act on my desire when I do feel it. So yeah, I do. Now I understand that sometimes people are like, this is <laughs> something I don't want. But I'm still willing to meet someone like this. I think it's original and beautiful. I don't think Hungarian men walk up to women. No, they're not. They, they are not. There are these um, um, Facebook groups, or, you know, where, where they can. Uh, so there, there's uh, groups for for these men who uh, are someone on the street and they want to find her. Yeah. They write texts. So, like, I saw you. What? Name. How, did, how did they find you though? I don't know, I never, so they never find her because usually girls are not in this group because they don't need it. Right? Of course, because <laughs> it's easy for girls, that's why. Yeah. Yeah. But it's so, they, they are so desperate. Oh my god, hundreds. And these all Hungarian guys? Yeah. What? So there's a group where guy, Hungarian guys, they go in there and say, I couldn't walk to you on the street, but I figured I would call you, say you're beautiful on Facebook? Yeah. I'm trying to figure out, if they don't know the girl's name, yeah, how do they, they find they, her? They expect the girl to see this uh, text. And they uh. you know, always write something about <laughs> 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 the girl. Uh, I didn't want to go to her still because 
before I got the money. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Holy fuck. Uh, maybe there's other groups like this around the world as well. It's probably not just Hungarians. course but well I guess girls don't understand that it's actually quite hard for guys to walk up to girls no oh, I think it is I mean usually when someone come to me I mean like at a party or something like that so they are uh, they say so uh, weird things <laughs> <laughs> Uh, tell me something weird that a guy has said to you. Like something that you was like, okay, that's weird. Uh, no. There were a lot. The last thing was, uh, guy just has my name. Uh -huh. And I don't know why, but my friend was here, told him. And, uh, okay, he left. And then uh, he wrote me on Facebook that, uh, why don't you have uh, all those uh, bathroom selfies by the other girls? I was like, uh, he didn't say hi or anything. He just said, what's your name? And then left. Left. And he wrote me this text the day after. Mm -hmm. That why don't you have all these uh, bathroom selfies by the other girls? Facebook. Yeah. So, <laughs> I don't know. So, <laughs> I don't have because I don't think I should put these uh, half naked selfies of myself on Facebook. Um, so, it says a lot about him. I mean, I deleted him. But, oh, but most guys are like that. Yeah, this is, girls encounter weird stuff. They really do. I guess the guys, they're just only doing what they, the best of their ability though. That's like the best they know. They really is, like they don't know anything better. Yeah, maybe. There was another, when uh, I was just sitting in a sofa, it was a house party. Yeah. And uh, my uh, friend uh, was talking to a guy that he was, uh, uh, so it was nothing like a lot thing. Mm -hmm. And then a guy came to me and uh, he was really so not right. <laughs> so I didn't uh, He wasn't your type, is that what you want to say? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you like you got you you got very polite. You're like he wasn't like <laughs> I was like he wasn't your type. So, yeah, so yes. And uh, he realized that doesn't work and, uh, and then he wanted to he wanted to uh, make me uh, jealous of my friend because she was talking to a guy and how lucky she is that she can talk to this guy who uh, I mean this guy didn't even uh, know that they are just friends and, yeah. and like he told me that I must be very selfish because I can't, uh, I can't, uh, I, I'm not happy for, for the happiness of my friend mm -hmm. and other things like that. It, it was just so stupid. I mean, really. So I got it so angry because that he was talking about, I mean, uh, <laughs> so it's weird. You, when you get, when you get mad, do you do you blow up or do you or do you get quiet? Well, it depends on the person I'm mad at. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> yeah, because. Because I can see the way you said that. I was like, I wonder, do you blow up sometimes? Because you look like you have some fire inside of you, where you just like, yeah, yeah. like that. Well, it happened that I just poured my drink in his face. Not this guy, but mm. it happened because sometimes they are like that. But sometimes I just try to, um, so if it's possible in this situation, I just try to um, tell my opinion with, you know, with like serious arguments, or I don't know how to say it, 
Yeah. So I'm not the person who yells at someone instantly. <laughs> mm. You express how you feel first. Yeah. And then if they don't get it, you get angrier, and then yeah, yeah. And then you throw your drink on them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's good. Well, at least you have some fire in you. You're like the introvert that has like the fire underneath. Yeah, I am. Sometimes. <laughs> because some people are just so stupid. <laughs> some people are so stupid. Yeah, not oh, that's a mean thing to say. Some people are just so stupid. Well, I say the same thing, so I can't say anything. I know it. <laughs> but today I heard, as my, uh, my one of my friends told me, that uh, she had a class, a lecture in the university where I go. The teacher told them to the class that uh, domestic violence doesn't exist. What's what's good for women to get to be beat? Yeah. Are you sure she said that? Yeah, she said that. That that domestic violence doesn't exist because if uh, if a man beats his wife, then it's not a problem because the wife probably wanted it. And <laughs> <laughs> she probably wanted to get beat. Yeah, right. Yeah, and and uh, like eighteen-year-old boys. Uh, argue about this and they pretend to be very clever and they are like have tons of experience about how women feel in such situations situations they just can't and, and, and like after all I feel like that more people are so crazy and the teacher in my university can say something like that so Yeah, your teacher, maybe your teacher is getting beat. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know, maybe. And she's like, well, we, we deserve it sometimes. I don't know. And this is thought to be the best university of Hungary. Hmm. Yeah, it is. I've never heard that in my life. That a teacher actually said it. Because they were talking about the... Uh, No, it's the name of, no, I don't. I read, but I don't know that book. Sometimes. Some people are very, very sweet and loving and generous. No. And some people, I think they're just disconnected from their heart. I don't know if they're really mean people. They just go through life and they don't really want to engage their heart so they can just do bad, mean things and not care. I like your shoes. They definitely look like rock and roll shoes. Like a girl who, who likes rock and roll. Um, I listen to R&B. I like some rock music. Uh, I like soft music as well. And anything that moves me. Moves, Cause I'm a dancer, so anything that moves me. Like, I live here. So, 
Ja. 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 If you go to America, the if you meet a Hungarian person in America, they act like an American. But if you meet a Hungarian person here, they act like a Hungarian. And I like that because I love, I think the uniqueness is from culture to culture. That's what I believe is unique. Ah, uh, uh, yes. To Austria, well, the cities I've been to: Vienna, Barcelona, Amsterdam, Berlin, Serbia, Prague. Mm. Why do you like travel? What time do you have class? Oh, it's five right now. But she is just gonna call me so. Oh, okay. I know this is, uh, you know, a bit different to meet someone like this. To meet someone like this. I know it's a bit different to meet someone like this. Uh, You seem like a lovely girl, though, that has fire. <laughs> you do. And I like that. And you're very cute. Yeah. Do you feel cute? No. I know. That's why you just say that. You're just like, ah, thanks. I'm like, you just blew off the compliment that I gave you. No. <laughs> I didn't want to do that. I don't know. People always tell me this. Well, you're... Yeah, but you're... I guess you are somebody's type. Like you're, you would be like my type. Like my type is whatever it is I'm attracted to, <laughs> and I'm attracted to you. And your style, of course, because you look like a rocker. If you didn't look like a rocker, I wouldn't say hello. Uh, well, I know you're gonna go to class soon. Uh, would you like to go for coffee another day? Yeah. Uh, Did you tell me your name? Uh, yeah, it's Aniko. I don't know. Aniko? No, you didn't tell me your name. I told you. You did you? Yeah, but it's not easy to remember. What's my name? I don't know. Yeah, because we didn't say our, each other's name. Did we say each other's name? Cause like, yeah, we did. Oh, okay, my name is Anthony. Yeah, and Nicole. A Nicole. No. <laughs> okay, and Nicole. I never really heard that name before. That's why. Yeah, it's. I don't know. I don't really like my name. It sounds Chinese. Like what? <laughs> it's like Chinese. Or Japanese. <laughs> it sounds like Japanese. Yes. It sounds like an anime name. Yeah, I can't wait. It's really not like Hungarian. If somebody was like, "Do you want to meet and Nicole?" I'd be like. Which country in Asia did she come from? <laughs> That's what I would say. Uh, what's the best way to contact you? Um, I need, um, I my phone Is that good? Aniko. A N I K O. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I love what you go. I hate my name. <laughs> Plus three six. What else? Twenty. Twenty. You write the list. Don't you hate when you get these things in your socks? 
Man. Because everything looks, uh, it looks, now it looks less black. That's the reason why. <laughs> like, oh, it looks like white and black socks. Yeah. Yes. I always have, uh, like, cat hair on my stuff everywhere. Because you, you have a cat? I, uh, I love cats. Yeah, that's why I have a cat. <laughs> I uh, prefer, I grew up with them my whole life. And I used to be scared of dogs. I'm not anymore, but I used to be like, dogs are vicious, I hate them. But now they're, they're fine though. Yes, it's, it's, You know what I like about you? I like that you you want to tell me things, but you stop yourself in the middle. No, I, 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 <laughs> I just stopped because I realized if I told you how old I am, I realized how old I am. How old are you? Are, are you older than 21? Yeah. <laughs> how old are you? Because I have a beard. So that means I'm not 21. Oh, just tell me, how old are you? I'm 24. Oh, I am too. Really? Yes, so you, you're, we're in the same boat. We're both, whatever we are, we're both that. I mean, why? <laughs> do you feel like you're getting old? Yeah, I do. Uh, you are, because I am too. Yeah, when I go to a party and the next day, I, I, I just have to sleep. <laughs> you're actually getting old though. That's so crazy. I am too though, look at this. See this? <laughs> I grew up my beard this month and I, every time I touch it, I'm like, oh, I'm like 50. <laughs> That's how I feel. <laughs> All right, well, uh, you are lovely. I see you, okay? Mwah. Mwah. It was lovely to meet you. Bye-bye.